Hey, I'm Michelle. I'm the Zoo and Wildlife Nutritionist for Taronga, and I'm here at the Taronga Animal Nutrition Centre because I have an important job to do today. And that is I'm making a diet for an echidna puggle, so a little baby echidna who is in the weaning stage. So it's not nursing for mum anymore, it's not getting any milk, and we want it to eat a little bit more of the adult diet. And so this is a tricky time in an echidna's life. And so I'm preparing something that might improve his intake a little bit, and hopefully uh, he'll be on that adult diet very soon. So we've got to go and prepare this diet. So let's get in there. Follow me. So today we're going to make an echidna mix and so I'm just making a fresh meat mix that is very similar to the adult diet that they'll be getting in uh, nutrient composition but has a little bit of different texture, a little bit of different feel and, uh, and hopefully it'll help to stimulate his appetite a little bit or her appetite, we're not quite sure. So this meat mix contains some lean ground beef, extra lean ground beef. So I'm just going to pop that in our thermo mix here. Yummy, yummy, yummy. And then it also contains some hard-boiled egg. So I've got some pre-weighed hard-boiled egg here. I'm just gonna add that in to the mixer. And then it also has some other ingredients. This is actually a pure cellulose. So it's a fiber that we're adding in. Fiber is really important for echidnas because normally they'd be sticking their little noses and mouths into termite mounds and things and taking in a lot of different fiber from that. From that. And this is just some um, vitamin and mineral supplement, and that's all pre-weighed as well. I like to pre-weigh everything because you know it is very cooking show-like to do that. And this is water. It's a little foggy. The reason it's foggy is because it has some vitamin E liquid in it. So we're just going to add everything into the thermomix, and then, like magic, we are going to blend it up. So this is going to be very loud. Let's just see. Blend it. I want it very creamy. I like to listen to the tone for a little bit. It's kind of nice. Okay, so then I'm just going to take the lid off and make sure that it's all blended. Creamy, creamy. So now I'm just going to pour it into, now I know how much this mix is, and a lot of times when we're making diets for the zoo, we're really looking for the animal to be fed over a weekly period. So I'm not as concerned that I'm weighing out every, every day to be perfect. I just want to make sure that they're basically even for our little echidna. So now that we've weighed it all out, we've got individual days worth here. What we're gonna do is bring this down to the keepers. They're going to feed this alongside the adult diet. And so we can see um, how much that animal is eating every night. And they're weighing, uh, weighing the puggle every couple of days and reporting on that as well. So we'll be able to see um, how much that animal's eating, uh, how much they're gaining weight, and hopefully they'll be able to be transitioned onto the adult diet very, very soon. All right, so I'm just gonna package this all up and we're gonna bring this down to the keepers and they're gonna feed it to the puggle. So we've come down to backyard to bush and it just so happens that the echidna puggle is awake which is unprecedented. And um, we've, we've put some of that meat mix into these feeders here so that they can get his little snout in there. And we're gonna put it alongside some other food, some adult food as well, and give him a chance to try them both. There's just one more thing to do, and that's take this echidna mix and feed it to this echidna puggle. I don't wanna disturb him because he's up already. 